monster low right there, 168.5. That is due to the low carb day I had yes last night. It was it was pretty rough. I've never tried to do any carb cycling, any low days early on in this cut, but I the reason why I want to do it is I might even throw in cardio. It's just I want to get it rolling. I, I'm, I'm in that in between stage where counting macros, I'm hungry, and my physique isn't really showing it yet. So that's what I call being an in-betweener. So once you get past that in-betweener stage, you start seeing, you know, your, your, your body changing, you start looking leaner, you start looking cut, cut, shredded, cut. Not shredded, but leaner, cutter, cut. And every day you wake up tighter and you see, you see progression. But the in-betweener stage is kind of rough mentally. So, if you're there, and you've been, you know, counting your macros, and you're hungry, and you're sacrificing, and you're like, why am I doing this? Stick to it. Once you get past that in-betweener stage, you will thank yourself, and you'll be much more motivated, because you're seeing change. So, one more low day today, and then I either, depending on what my weight is tomorrow, I might have, like, a high day, or a just back to normal day, back to my 300 carbs. Kendall, awesome squat form. I think you're a little too low though. <laughs> Alright, breakfast is served. Sonia made this for me. It's pretty much a super breakfast bagel. This is an everything Sara Lee bagel. There's two whole eggs in there. Yoki. Some fat free cheese. And then five servings of... Egg beaters for some volume and some more protein. Some macros on this meal, 59.7 carb, 15 fat, 75.6 protein. What is it, what is it? Oh yeah, I've been eating some of these. I ordered this the other day. Not fitness related, but it's life related. One of my ratchets, this little knob, to adjust, uh, tighten, or loosen, left, right, it uh, it broke. It was a good one too. And then I got some open end wrenches, which is weird that I don't have any. I've been slowly piecing together like the tools that I need based on what I need to install on the bikes. I got I got three ratchets. Anytime you got to install some, come to my garage. All right, so three ratchets and a set of open-end wrenches, all from, I think, eight to 19 millimeter. The other day I needed a 13 and I didn't have it to take apart the bed. It was a pain, I, I went and borrowed it from my dad. One more package, and this is from Hydro Jug. They hit me up and offered to send me some uh, jugs. Let's see. So I do use my my gym jugs, my black gallon every day, but I don't carry it around with me anymore. Okay, that's kind of nice. Wristband, hydro jug. Oh, there's a white one. The white one's super clean, and a clear one. I could actually use these. This will fit a lot better in my backpack when I ride. Because I have not I haven't drove my car in like a week. So big thank you to Hydro Jug. If you guys want to check them out, here's your website. Teaching teaching my little brother Ryan how to ride the Grom. Come on. You got it. So we're just messing with the uh, showing him the friction zone, how the clutch works, where everything's at. He's picking it up pretty fast. Looks so sexy. Tell me, do you still have that uh, pocket bike at your house? No, he took threw it away. Oh, that's not good. Not I same. wish I had it. I still ride that. Mine was like a Harley. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 
again because daddy was craving it again. Chicken plate, two pockets of kale, and the girls are, what they do is always split a kid's uh, chicken bowl. Is it good? Is it yummy? Yeah. I see. And I'm having a diet orange soda. Diet crush. Alright guys, I hit another new low. 168.3. I was 168.5 yesterday. You can really see my face. I'm, I'm super flat. Alright, so I'm excited because today is a push day. I am going to really, really push the intensity, the volume, and uh, just, just go through this glycogen. So after two low days in a row, I'm super, super hungry this morning. I'm going to have this Icon Meals grilled chicken with barbecue sauce and white potatoes, low fat. I don't want to have too much fat. I want to save it for later tonight because I know I'm going to be hungry after this workout. And then I'm going to put together that same smoothie that I had earlier this week. It was, it was good. I just need the carbs. Like I said, low fat. I want to replenish my carbs so I have a good workout today. Look at how big that is. If that doesn't fill you up, I don't know what will. Headed over to the campus to get a little work done before headed over to the barber shop because I got a haircut at 1.30. It's gonna knock out some work so I have less to do later when I actually come in. It's like focus on my workout, today's push workout. I'm pretty full from that smoothie, but I got this monster to have in a little bit. Haircut complete, fresh fade, feeling good, feeling fresh. going down we're starting off with bench press as usual 74 percent puts me at 265 we're sticking to this this uh this weight for the next i don't know three to four weeks trying to improve the reference is 8 to 12 reps so i'm still acclimating up 185 i went the bar for about 10 uh 135 for about eight and now 185 i'll probably do like five <laughs> fixed Alex's uh, hand placement, his uh, his wrist. I, I saw that he was uh, holding it more like, holding it like that, right? And then instead, now he's more like that. You're gonna have more stability and you're gonna save your wrist.
these guys from the receipts, right? going down and starting to uh, get to me. I know, I know the feeling of me losing strength on, especially my push movements, because that's always the first uh, to go when I'm getting lighter. You know what I think I might do? I might throw in my elbow sleeves. Give me a little, little boost. Placebo effect. They don't help that much, but the warmth, the compression feels really good. At this point in my cut, you know, I'm getting lighter and lighter, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do anything that I can to maximize my workouts. I feel like Mega Man with these on. Who remembers the video game? Mega Man. To be honest with you guys, not too much difference with the sleeves on. My elbows feel a little bit, I don't know, more secure. I'm more, a little bit more confident when I'm going down. But it didn't, it didn't give me any magical like uh, strength because I hit the same amount of reps. Uh, if I if I did it without it, I might have just maybe hit seven instead of eight. Stay here. I'm gonna shoot for eight to twelve. Ten. I did that three sets of ten last week, so I'm gonna stick to here. So at this point in my cut, I don't know how many weeks I'm in. Like four weeks. I'm really been keeping track, like to the T. But you know, at this point, I got to switch my mentality. It has to be more of maintaining my strength. I'm still gonna push, but I got to accept that my leverages are changing. My body weight's going down, so strength is gonna go down. So I have to be smarter. I have to auto-regulate more. Oh, hey, little guy.
Sleepless on iTunes. Uh, I'm a big Jamie Foxx fan. I think he's super talented and he's he's real entertaining. All the movies that he's in are, are, are real good, so this should be good. I'm gonna have this barbecue chicken lean cuisine, and I have some Icon meal turkey sliders cooking. I'm gonna finish off the macros with some ice cream, Halo Top, birthday cake. This is probably my favorite right now. I had it yesterday, hit the spot, and then uh, a Greek yogurt. But that is it, guys. Thank you for watching the vlog today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.